Welcome to a new video where we delve into the world of secret treasures in <coughs> seemingly worthless CSGO stickers. Because why would anybody invest in a sticker that doesn't seem to have any value? Well, for starters, the price can hardly drop any further since nobody will give away their stickers for free. Additionally, in the long term, with people applying these stickers or forgetting about them in their inventories, the supply is sure to drop, despite the seemingly huge current supply. Let's look at some historic examples in order to better understand what I mean. Let's take a look at the Berlin 2019 NIP sticker. When it was first released and after its initial hype, it was priced at around 27 cents. Now. It's valued at over 82 cents. Why? Because the supply has decreased and the demand has remained constant or even inclined due to its increasing rarity. Another example is the North Atlanta 2017 sticker. At the time, it was not considered to be anything special and priced roughly the same as the 2019 NIP sticker at 28 cents. But its price has now skyrocketed to over 2 US dollar and 52 cents due to its rarity. And let's not forget the Tailu 2020 RMR sticker. After its release, it eventually fell down to just 8 cents and later on decreased in price even further. While it had a short uptick shortly after its initial drop, it lay dormant at 3 cents for almost two years before getting pulled up by the recent hype. And now it's worth over 19 cents. So what does that mean for us in the present? Should you buy a sticker that seems to have no value? Take the Furia Stockholm 2021 sticker for example. It's currently priced at 13 cents after already seeing a sharp increase in price. And while it may still not seem like a valuable investment, from here its price is almost certain to increase in the long term. Taking all this into consideration, I want to conduct an experiment and have bought some of these stickers to see where the CS market takes them. But is this the only secret treasure? I have looked up a few other stickers that match the criteria of being extremely cheap currently and I want to invite you to help me with this experiment. I am going to present some candidates to you and if you want to help me out, just leave a comment with the name of the sticker that you think is most likely to see a price increase and I'll include the one in this experiment that gets the most mentions. Now, let's take a look at some of these stickers that could fit the criteria for potentially profitable investment. The Buster sticker. People in CS have a weird way of liking autograph stickers with PP shapes. Juan Flatru. Because B&E seems to be well liked and the signature just looks nice to me. Siren. I just like the little drawing. These Antwerp 2022 stickers are all priced at just 1 to 3 euro cents and could see a significant increase in value in the future. The Antwerp 2022 stickers of Bad News Eagles, Furia and Big, priced at just 1 to 5 euro cents, could also be worth investing in. So, can any sticker turn a profit? It certainly seems possible. However, please note that the examples I've shared today are not the only ones out there, and there might be other examples that do not follow the same trends. Investing in cheap CSGO stickers may seem like a gamble, but with careful consideration, I think it could pay off in the long term. Thanks for tuning in to this video. So long, see ya.